guys welcome back to my channel today I have an unboxing specifically for my magical girl fans um, especially the Tokyo Mew Mew fans this is super exciting this is something that a lot of Tokyo Mew Mew figure collectors or magical girl figure collectors were really excited about when this figure got announced and it's finally here it is the Tokyo Mew 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 Ichigo scale figure. It is a new scale figure of Mew Ichigo and it's from the reboot of the series which is Tokyo Mew Mew New and I got this off of Amazon Japan and just I don't know if this is an Amazon Japan thing because I've only ordered from them I think like once or maybe twice in the past um, and I don't remember them packaging their figures like this but like look how this is packed. And like this was, there's a tear here because this was taped to like, or like glued and stuck to the bottom of the shipping box, which I mean, it was packed pretty well. But yeah, I'm like super excited. This is a 1 7 scale and it is by Fnex. And yeah, let, let me just get this unboxed. Oh my gosh, I'm literally just staring at her through the box. And she is stunning from what I can like see through here. But um, let's let's skip that for now. Uh, this box design is so pretty and adorable. And I feel like this is something you would see walking through like a toy store when you were like little. Like it's giving that type of vibe to it. Like, I don't know, some like Barbie type box where everything just looks so magical and so pretty. And uh, I absolutely love the hearts and the stars going on. And of course, I love the pink. Um, there's also like a heart window at the top, which is super cute. Yeah, this is just, uh, this is amazing. Uh, I'm glad the box didn't come in damaged. I mean, I'd be surprised if it did with that kind of packaging. Let's go ahead and open this because her pose is kind of what I want to talk about. Oh my gosh. That is so freaking cute. This is so cute, you guys. Um, hello, there are like strawberry designs all over. I didn't even see that. Oh my gosh. And like on each of the sides, there are like hearts. And then in the middle or on the back, it says Tokyo Mew Mew New Mew Ichigo. Holy crap, this is so... Oh my God, I'm loving this. This is like <laughs> so much better than I expected to be honest. I'm like <laughs> so speechless right now. Okay, on to the figure. Oh, she's so pretty. First off, this is the base. It's small and adorable. It's it's a paw print, even though it kind of looks like a dog's. It's a cat's. Um, so cute. I kind of almost wish, mm, maybe it doesn't really matter. I don't know if I would prefer this to be more of an opaque color, but I mean, it's, this is still really cute. I'm glad they didn't go with like a plain white or whatever. It matches the color of Ichigo. Maybe if it was opaque, it would have been too much um, mixed in with her pink. So, okay. Just as a disclaimer, I have not yet, I say yet because I'm planning on it. I have not yet seen the Tokyo Mew Mew new reboot. I have seen their character designs and everything, but I haven't actually watched any of the episodes yet. All right, so this is Mew Ichigo on the base. Oh my God, I'm like looking at her through the camera screen and she, like even on the camera, she looks she looks freaking stunning. All right, so before I get into what I like and dislike about this figure, I wanna talk about why so many people were so excited to get this and pre-order this. Before this came out and before the reboot was announced for this series, there really wasn't any Tokyo Mew Mew like scale-like figures out there, except for one. And it was the Tokyo Mew Mew Perfect Figure Mew Ichigo figure. That sounded so weird to say. Um, which is sitting right over there at the corner of my shelf. The thing with that figure is I believe it came out 
in the early 2000s when the original series came out closer to that date and there hasn't been like a Tokyo Mew Mew figure since and now they're like super hard to find and super expensive like I've seen these guys listed for a thousand dollars used not even new it's like extremely ridiculous how expensive they got like not even worth getting at that point so you can only imagine when this figure got announced how happy people were that they could finally a have a tokyo Mew Mew figure of Mew ichigo and b have one that is very similar to the actual perfect figure Mew ichigo i mean listen i have that figure and i was still ecstatic and so excited to pre-order this one because even though I have that one, I think they would look super cute to display together. I feel like at this point, it's kind of a win-win for those who have that one and for those who don't. Because like I said, if you have that one and you like this one, they'd look super cute together. And if you don't have that one, now you have something close to it. You know what I mean? And I'm hoping that eventually the other characters uh, the other girls get announced as well. All right, so now that that explanation is over, let's talk about my likes and dislikes. And I do want to bring up some stuff that some people were saying about it that they didn't like, um, especially regarding the outfit that she's wearing and how it's painted. I think the main thing that I saw people were talking about and the one thing that I think I'm just gonna mention about is um, her outfit or her dress and how shiny it is and because it's shiny it makes it look cheap so just keep in mind that while i'm talking about what i like and don't like about this i have not seen the show i like i said i have seen the character designs but i that was a while ago and i haven't really i can't really remember every detail like of their clothing um, and how it's supposed to look in the show versus on this figure but in terms of so that's the that's the perspective I'm looking through, <laughs> okay? So in terms of like her dress being shiny and people not liking it and thinking it looks cheap, I kind of disagree. I really like how shiny it is. I don't know, I think it just brings it out a lot more, especially because her hair is very matte. Like I mentioned when I was unboxing her, this box gave me walking into the toy aisle and looking at all these like Barbie dolls with like super cute, super girly box designs, packaging designs. That's the vibe I got when I was opening this up. And I absolutely love that vibe, especially when it comes to like magical girls or like shoujo anime. And because it reminds me of that, it's super nostalgic and Tokyo Mew Mew is a nostalgic show. So when this has this like shiny and cheap looking dress painted on it, I feel like that kind of adds to the nostalgia. It's like I'm shopping for something that was like made in that era. You know what I mean? I don't, <laughs> that probably makes no sense at all, but like, I like it. I don't know. This makes me feel like a little kid again. So I think for this, it works. I feel like if it was like another like series or something, maybe like a action shonen, I don't think it would work as well. Or maybe even if it was like a shoujo, but like not from a nostalgic series, I don't think it would work as much as it does here. I think this is great. I don't, I don't think, I really don't see anything bad about it. I actually really like it and almost prefer it. Something that I wish was included in this figure is her strawberry bell. The other Ichigo figure has her holding it, but this one does not. And I just feel like something is missing without it. I just, I, it feels so, there's like a void there that I'm feeling with her not holding it. But yeah, again, like this is like my only complaint about it. So is it really a bad figure if I have one complaint? Not really. I do want to point out that I really like the shape of her tail and the bow that's kind of there i think it's super cute but not only that her tail has this like very faint pink coloring to it that i kind of like to be honest i don't know if that's something she has in the series um they also match with her ears too 
So her ears and her tail aren't like super black. I think her heels as well, which I'm like just realizing as I'm looking at this. So I think that's a good idea. I think the, at least with this figure, I think a plain black would be too bold <laughs> maybe for this. So yeah, I think this is, I, I think it's nice. I know the other Miwichigo figure has just plain black on there and it works for that one. But I think the reason why it probably wouldn't work for this one is because this Ichigo has a variation of different pinks and reds. Whereas I think that one has just like one set bubblegum pink color and then you have black. This one has like too many colors, I guess. I don't <laughs> I don't know if I'm just like talking out of my ass right now, but that's <laughs> what it feels like. Yeah, and then if I flip her upside down, uh, cause I don't know if it'll show in the B-roll. Uh, if I flip her upside down, she has the yellow bloomers. I, I, I don't know what they are, but like it's, I think it's part of her dress, these like yellow shorts or whatever, um, which I know for a fact that she does have in the new series and she doesn't have in the original series. This is part of her new design, new character design. I don't know if I really like it, to be honest. I'm kind of glad that if they did add it, it's somewhere you can't really see because I just feel like that's so random. I really do like the, this like, I know I already talked about the tail and the bow on the tail, but I really love the bell and how metallic it looks. It like literally looks like a real bell and I'm living for it, okay? I think it looks great super neat i really love her facial expression and her eyes and i really love how her ears have like a little like fur on the inside of them i think that's a super cute detail and i really love how her hair flows how it, it's like there's a lot of volume to it and it's really puffy and so cute and i i, I freaking love her i love her so much like i cannot I don't know, I, like I can't put into words how much I love her and this makes me so happy. This makes me want to like stop recording right now and go watch the reboot. <laughs> like that's how happy this is making me. And of course, I love every anime character that has this type of smile with that one tooth that sticks out and she has it, of course. I just love that little detail that they added on there. I'm so glad they didn't skip out on it. Also looking at it up close, I really hope the B-roll catches it. Her cheeks, and like some parts of her like arms, like maybe like near her elbow and whatnot. I can't really tell with the legs. There's this like pink tint there, especially you see it more around her cheeks, kind of like blush. I love that so much, you guys. I don't know what it is. I freaking love that. And I hope to God you guys will be able to see it on the B-roll, but there is like this pink, very faint pink, like tint there. But yeah, overall, I am loving this figure, you guys. I have no complaints. I'm just, you know what? I'm just gonna count my blessings and thank God for the fact that there is a, another Tokyo Mew Mew figure out there finally. So yeah, this is the FNEX 17 scale Tokyo Mew Mew new Mew Ichigo figure that I love so very much and I would love to hear your thoughts on her too. Magical Girl fans, especially the Tokyo Mew Mew fans, we win. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of this figure and let me know how you like the new reboot series without, you know, giving any spoilers. I've seen the original, but I don't know if there's anything that they changed in the reboot, so I just don't want to get spoiled. Um, and I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.